just left the uh, the Wilson Creek um, Trailhead parking lot, and we got a little bit of a drive here on the Wilson Creek Road. Uh, I don't know really how far it is, but this is this is just a dirt road, and it goes all the way up, and then I think we take a left somewhere up here, and it ends up taking the the actual Wilson Creek. God, that's loud. The actual Wilson Creek Trail, and. It goes around back of this big, huge canyon that drops down to the actual Wilson Creek. We're gonna go see what's out here. We like to take these little these little trails that kind of spur off the main road to see what, what we got. Looks like a nice little camp spot. Dang. Nice little fire pit right there overlooking the, the valley. Wow, this is nice. This is, a, this is a pretty cool little spot just off the, the main road. You can see where it goes up there. Um, again, this is just the dirt road of this, this area here. But And we saw this little turn off right here and comes right to this really nice little, little camp spot. So we got lucky we got a really calm day. And this is overlooking this, this valley down here, which is it's pretty nice. All this down here, this is really nice. Anyway, we're gonna continue on. We usually like to pull off of these uh, little spots up here, just check them out for future overlanding. So all, you know, these, all you guys that are uh, just getting started in overlanding, this is like perfect. That's probably, we're gonna go up there and check that one out up there. It's probably a nice little uh, little camp spot up on top up there. Only thing, the only problem I could see with this is if the wind's picked up through here, I mean, you're just right in the middle of a windstorm if, if they pick up. Right now, it's really calm. It's fairly warm out here. It's, it's you know, not, not cold, but it's not hot either. So it's really, really tolerable. So I'm going to get back in the truck and we're going we're gonna to head up and check that one out. Yeah, there is actually a fire pit. This one's wow. wow this one's what really a view! And why is there, a, why is there a cross over Ooh. there with a hat? Ooh. All right, let's check this one out. There's a cool little fire pit. This is just up the hill from the other one we were just at. A little bit more breezy up here, but man, what a hell of a view! This is insane. And. I'm not sure why that cross is there. I can imagine that probably wasn't anything good, which sucks. So I would imagine that also is a sign that just be careful out here because things can happen. West Coast kid. So I don't know. Sorry about your loss, people. It's really sad. Be careful out here. I mean, you're in the middle. It's almost like being in the ocean. The ocean is very unforgiving, just like these hills are. So hey, I wanted I wanted to give a um, quick shout out to uh, um, this this couple that we we've been watching on YouTube. Uh, <coughs> their names actually their YouTube channel is called uh, Golden's Gone Wheeling. 
Um, awesome, awesome people. Good channel. They're just, they're they're really easy to follow. They get really good content, and and it's all about um, overlanding, uh, off-roading. I mean, that he's got a badass Jeep, and this thing is you just do it anywhere he goes. He's, he they do really well. Um, the important thing is they just keep you locked into watching it. You can't stop. And then we're like a couple of kids on Saturday morning waiting for cartoons to come on, waiting for their videos to come out because they're so good. So lately, he, he's been dealing with a couple injuries. He got into a bike, uh, a mountain bike accident. So uh, it seems like he's recovering now and he's, he's uh, they're back out doing some adventures. I think he's got some old content, but you guys gotta go over and check it out. It's called uh, uh, Golden's Gone Wheeling. Uh, they got a couple of cool dogs they take with them. They seem to be puppies, uh, cute dogs. Um, but the, the, the videos are just awesome, fun to watch, good people. Go over there and get it. I'll post. Uh, well, this is them right here, and uh, I'll post the link at the at the bottom in my uh, description. So go check them out. You'll like them. So as you can see, the first part of this loop is actually pretty nice. I mean, it's a really nice little, it turns into like a single lane. I went back further, it was almost like two, fit two vehicles but right here. Uh, in this section, you're not gonna be able to do that. It's, I mean, there's pullout spots, but this is all really, really easy. I mean, it, you know, if you had a, you know, just a stock built truck, I mean, it's basically like a dirt road, a Subaru, I see a lot of Subarus out there that are, that are built up pretty good now. Um, pretty much easy stuff. This We haven't gotten to really anything that's very crazy. There's a lot of people out here right now on, on uh, mountain bikes and hikers. Horses. Um, horses. We, we've just, we just got started on this, so you know, we haven't really gotten to any nasty stuff. But so far, the scenery out here is just incredible. Looks like another camp spot here. We're gonna check this out. It's on the other side of the road, up the hill a little ways. Woo, wow. Dang, this is nice. Nice little fire pit. There's a couple of cans in there. Again, people, it's not a garbage can. So this is glass and a can that's been all shot up. So clearly there's a lot of shooting going on up here which is fine it's not a big deal um so there michelle what? there's a lot of uh glass over there so they were shooting are showcasings it up considered trash? yes showcasings are trash yes take out what you bring in people why i just it's a corona why why do these people do this? It's a clear lack of respect for the lands out here and it just pisses me off. So this is 
let me get this in the right position here so we're right here we're getting ready to where are we okay so it splits up right here and this is the actual road that continues on we are gonna turn to the left and follow this trail all the way up and around it just makes a big loop around the mountain back there so I would highly recommend uh, using onyx off-road because this this has all these trails on here and you can go pick these trails up uh, using all trails and all that kind of stuff but it very very helpful with um, getting around out here and this right there that is a Garmin something or other <laughs> but it picks up satellite and it transfers to this through Bluetooth and that's how we're able to see all these trails out here so here's where it splits to the right over there is it continues on as uh, uh, Wilson Creek Road and to the left this is uh, Wilson Creek the trail actually that goes around the back of the mountain it looks like a side-by-side -side coming down the hill there and then there's there's another sign so we can zoom in on that not that anybody cares Anyway, we're going to continue up to this spot and we'll update you once we uh, get a little further up here. Looks like it goes around this way to the left, but then there's this bypass right here. Yep, that's all that is. Oh, it's because the trail is washed out. That's why. Huh. Interesting. Looks like people have gone on it, though. Yeah. We'll just take the bypass. So the, the original trail right there, it's actually what it shows on the map here that doesn't look like it's been traveled very much so the so the trail that was recorded on here must not must be old or something but there is a bypass right there and we're on it but you can kind of see where it's just all washed out there So we just made it up here to uh, this tower. A um, little bit of a rough climb. Wasn't really bad, but you know you're dealing with rocks kind of like this, and you know you saw it. But uh, this is really cool here. This is uh, evidently, um, and we didn't know this till we pulled up right in front of the sign. But um, over here, it says property of Owyhee County Sheriff and MRW. I don't know what, what does that mean, MRW? Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, MRW fire. If anybody knows what that means, let us know below. So this, it's kind of cool. It, they got one, two, three, four big, huge propane tanks up here. I would imagine 
that building's probably stuffed full of big high-end batteries and it's got lots of uh, solar going on over here, which is probably needed. They don't have power run up here, it doesn't appear. So we'll walk around here and see what's, uh, what this is all about. I'm shocked that I haven't seen one camera on this building. Um, I'm not sure what these are, what, that people try to break into these things or something. Look at that. That's crazy. Maybe some people are shooting at it or something. I don't know. Look at those solar panels up there. there in the distance that kind of trail that comes up that's that other lookout that we always like to go and stop and have lunch at so there's one on this side that goes down to and looks straight across to it whether we can or not I don't know but we're gonna go over there and, and find out uh, the day is going by a little quicker than we expected so hopefully we can cover all of this um, before it starts getting dark so it's coming up on I think three o'clock and with it being mid-October, sun's probably gonna go down about seven or so. So as long as we get back to the truck before it gets really dark, we're okay with this. So uh, we're gonna sit down and have some lunch and uh, head out of here when we're done. doing Michelle? Ugh. No How long has that been there? Long enough that the label's gone. Jeez, that's crazy. It's kind of a cool bottle. It is a cool bottle. It could be hundreds of years old. Way down there in the valley, you can you can see uh, the roads that we took in here, which is the the Wilson Creek Road. You can actually see uh, some vehicles on it. We've seen quite a few jeeps and trucks up here rolling around. Well, it's, a, it's an awesome day up here, so. It wasn't supposed to be this nice today. It was supposed to be pretty cloudy and really cold, but it's actually with the sun out, it's it's really keeping things nice and nice and toasty out. So it's been working out really well. Just came across this sign here on this trail that looks perfectly doable. Question: How long ago this sign was here, and is it really that bad? We've seen other vehicles going through this, and fire tracks all over the place. So we're gonna go find out if it's real. Tune in next week for part two of the Wilson Creek OHB Trail. It's about to get nasty. Don't forget, leave it better than you found.